Hey everyone, Colin Pauls here. In this video, we're going to discuss a CCC question from 2020, uh, Junior 4, uh, Cyclic Shift. So firstly, I'm going to read the question, then we can solve it together. Talk like finding cyclic shifts of strings. A cyclic shift of a string is obtained by moving characters from the beginning of the string to the end of the string. We also consider a string to be a cyclic shift of itself. For example, the cyclic shifts of A, B, C, D, E are these two, this five. So you can pause and take a look. Given some text T and a string S, det determine if T contains a cyclic shift of S. So basically, uh, the input gonna be two lines. The first line gonna be T and the second line gonna be S. So what we need to figure out is if the t contains a substring of a cyclic shift of s so by re uh, rearranging s can we get a substring from t so if we can get one uh, or two or three and we just output yes otherwise if it doesn't contain any we just output no so let's get into the code okay so firstly, we're going to create a class, public class. We need to name our class main with a capital letter M because uh, that's what online grader requires. And the master, main master. And we need to create a uh, scanner to take in input. Oops. And uh, let's create two, uh, two string at T and S. Okay, so after taking two inputs, we're gonna create a for loop to go through each of cyclic shifts. Yes. So in this line, we're gonna take out our, uh, each cyclic shift of the S. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna create a string called a shift. And what it uh, what is composed of is two substrings. The first one is s dot substring i and the second one is s dot substring uh, from zero to i. So basically what this does is we're gonna divide uh, this a uh, shift. I'm uh, sorry. Div divide string s to into two parts. For example, we have a b c d e uh, a b c d e f g, and what this does is we can take it to like two parts, like a b c and d e f g. And um, so by rearranging this, we're gonna get a b c f g. D, F, G, E, B, C in this order, and that's how we're gonna get our cyclic shift. So, before we actually solve this problem, we're gonna output each cyclic shift. So, you can see how this one works. Print time. Okay, let's run this first. Okay, these five are the cyclic shifts that the problem gave us and we can see that our program is working. And right now we just need to compare if it has a cyclic shift in the T. 
so t dot contains uh, a shift if it does we're just out, gonna output print line yes so it means our program uh, it means the text uh, string t has a cyclic shift of s and x is a program yeah but if we just like we loop through all the possibilities and we couldn't find the shift that that uh, uh, t contains uh, then we're just gonna output no here okay this is a uh, program and we're gonna run it with the sample input okay yes and no okay it seems to be working and as you can see it's working uh, okay so right now I'm gonna summarize this video so basically this part where uh, in the loop we are just looping all the possibility of the cyclic shift so a cyclic shift is con the contained of two parts uh, and how we're gonna get those two parts is we're gonna divide it like a target string or a needle like a b c d e c d e f g we can divide them to two parts for example a b a and b c d e f g or a b c d e f g so as the ad increases we can get all the possibilities and by rearranging them we just get each uh, cyc uh, cyclic shift and I'm gonna use this function to see if the t the text field contains a shift and if it does we're just gonna print yes and if it doesn't we're just gonna exit uh, I mean we're just gonna print no if you like this video be sure to check other content on this channel Lexis. So thank you for watching. Bye.